Hello everybody, Ian from Hyperspace Hobbies here. Today I want to tell you about three of my favorite Nurgle units and why I find them so effective on the battlefield. The first unit is a Spoil Pox Scravener and a squad of Plague Bearers. The Spoil Pox Scravener is nothing too powerful in the close combat phase, but he does have some bonuses to the unit that are very effective and really ups their damage output. His ability Keep Counting gives sustained hits one to the entire unit, which all of a sudden makes the six attacks that he does have hit a little bit harder because of chances you're going to roll at least one six. This combined with the fact that every close combat weapon already has lethal hits means that they get lethal and sustained on any roll of a six. He also has a very powerful move called Meet Your Quota. Meet Your Quota adds one to the objective controls to himself and his unit. So this would make a unit of Plague Bearers objective controlled three, which is very strong, especially when you combo it with some sneaky demon stratagems. The first of them is Denizens of the Warp. Denizens of the Warp allows you to deep strike within three inches of your opponent, though afterwards you cannot charge. This allows you to absolutely snank an objective off of an opponent who isn't really paying attention and not skirting you out off of that objective properly. That being said, it's only going to take a couple Plague Bearers to get onto that objective, so even if they try, if their unit is too small to project an aura of three inches around that objective, you're probably going to snank it away with objective controlled three Plague Bearers. And don't forget that all the Plague Bearers have lethal hits and sustained hits on their close combat attacks, which will definitely add up in the long run. Plague Bearers also have an awesome ability, Infected Outbreak. At the end of the command phase, your objective becomes sticky and remains under your control until your opponent controls it at the start of any turn. This, combined with a whole bunch of tricky stratagems that demons have, really pushes this to a top tier unit, in my opinion. If you're not satisfied with their close combat, you can always use Drought of Terror. A stratagem adds 1 AP, and if the opponent is battle shocked, you can re-roll wounds against that unit. The Spoil Prox, Scravener, and Plague Bearers are fairly slow, but with their OC3, their sticky objectives, and the stratagem Realm of Chaos, they all of a sudden become a huge problem for your opponent that they cannot leave alone. The Stratagem Realm of Chaos you can use to pick up one unit that is not within your Shadow of Chaos or two units that are in your Shadow of Chaos, allowing you to deep strike them on your following turn. This allows this Objective Control 3 unit to be bouncing around the battlefield and hopefully really messing with your opponent's ability to score objectives. My second favorite unit is Rodigus, the Great Unclean One. Rodigus has a very good profile and comes with two more wounds than a typical Great Unclean one. His Stream of Brackish Filth is a decent shooting attack, and his Gnarl Rod is quite powerful in combat. His Psychic Ability, Virilian Blessing, allows him to choose a unit within 18 inches, and all friendly Nurgle units that attack that unit get plus one damage. Now, this works with the Plague Bearers with Objective Control 3 that we were just talking about. It really stacks up some damage because all those guys with sustained hits, lethal hits, and damage to is phenomenal. This also works on himself, so that Gnarl Rod is going to hit extra hard, especially when you're doing those sweep attacks, of which he has 14. It's just incredible. He also has an additional ability, Deluge of Nurgle. This halves the movement and the objective controlled of all units within six inches of Rodigus. And remember, Rodigus is on a six inch base already. So it is a huge aura that's going to be messing with your opponent's objective controls and halving their movement, which all of a sudden makes your guys not look so slow when your opponent is halved. It also combos really well with the objective control boost you get from your Plague Bearers because now your opponent is halved and you're an additional one. It's such a big swing that you're almost certainly going to control any objective. Also, 
Rodigus is objective controlled five, which is going to be a nightmare when he's having all of your opponents objective controlled and doing that much damage. My third favorite unit, and it's been a favorite of mine for a while, is Plague Drones. Plague Drones hold a unique part in the Nurgle list because they're actually fairly fast. A movement of 10 is pretty impressive when it comes to Nurgle, and Toughness 8 with 5 wounds really puts the icing on the cake. Their close combat is decent, but their ability is where they really shine. They have a decent shooting attack, which totally doesn't even matter because all you have to do is score a hit and you trigger the Death Heads ability. The Death Heads ability allows all Nurgle units for the rest of the turn to re-roll wound rolls against that unit. So they're a great unit to throw up in the front lines, hit something with your Death Heads ability, start shooting at it with some Nurgle Soul Grinders, or a Great Unclean one if he's close enough, even a Demon Prince of Nurgle. There's quite a few different ways you can get a lot of buffs out of re-rolling wounds out of your Nurgle units in the shooting phase, but they also benefit from this in the combat phase. So all of a sudden their close combat becomes really quite good. And if we circle back to my number one unit, we are looking at Plague Bearers that have OC3 that re-roll wounds. If you start stacking on Rodigus, this combo becomes really strange because all of a sudden you have lethal hits, you have sustained hits on an OC3 unit with damage 2 and rerolling wounds. They definitely hit extra hard and will for sure be shaking anybody off objectives. The Plague Drones and the Plague Bearers both come with icons and instruments giving them additional leadership and plus 1 to that all so desirable charge roll. The Plague Drones are also a fantastic unit for the corrupt real space stratagem, allowing them to make an objective sticky and also gives that objective a 6 inch shadow of chaos, allowing all your other units, potentially Plague Bearers, to deep strike extra close and get a really easy charge. Well that sums up my favorite three Nurgle units from the new 10th edition Chaos Demons Index. I'd really like you guys to check out a couple other channels that we are all great friends with that release a lot of really awesome content. Please go check them out, and I'll see you next time. This is Ian from Hyperspace Hobbies, signing out.